What is going on Bulls Nation? So the prodigal sons return, both Zach Levine and Nikola Vucevic. So what is the immediate reaction to the return? We're going to talk about this win against Charlotte right after this. This is your home for all things Chicago Bulls. Join the conversation. You're listening to Chicago Bulls Nation. All right, Bulls Nation. So two of the most polarizing figure in Chicago sports or the Chicago Bulls right now is both Nikola Vucevic and Zach Levine for pretty much similar reasons or, or almost the same reasons. A for Zach Levine, you know, we're thinking, hey, man, the team is better playing without you. Uh, and it kind of showed on the record when Levine was out that the ball is moving a lot better. Uh, with Vucevic, it's different. It's more of a, we like to see Drummond more. Or, you know what? Your production is not that efficient. Well, it is efficient, but your production can be easily replaced by Drummond. And you're lazy on defense, so we want Drummond more. So those are the two consensus of Chicago fans that are, you know, been echoing this past few weeks. Now, more so with Levine, because he kind of softly asked for a trade. And within that time frame, the Bulls obviously have been playing really well. So now in their immediate return, what is the reaction that I, I what is the immediate reaction that I do have? First ob observation is that, you know, Zach was really timid and that is expected. The rust is expected. Uh, Zach scored efficiently, I would say six out of 11. It didn't feel like he uh, forced any shots. You didn't have those, you know, scratching your head moments. And again, that is expected. You know, it is really humbling to see your team thriving without you. So it just shows the value that you have and maybe the lack of. That's why teams are not really lining up to trade for Zach. With that being said, he's still a pretty good basketball player that could be used uh, effectively on a right situation. Is the Bulls the right situation? Is today the right situation? I would say... His impact tonight, although it was good, it was a pretty efficient, again, 15 points. Not very impactful in my in my opinion. This three-pointer to end the quarter was ending it in a high note. I would love for him to take over a little bit more, but he's too passive. But hopefully that improves, you know, throughout, you know, the course of the season if he is indeed going to stay with the Bulls. And I'm in a camp where if we're going to get you know pennies on a dollar for Zach you might he might you might as well keep on him and uh, you know get his value up next season I don't believe that's gonna happen though but you know that's a for Levine second for Vooch um one thing my biggest complaint about Vooch is his lack of hustle if he feels pedestrian out there although he hit some three-pointers he also missed a few uh he got that you know he's finishing really bad from the inside that kind of got uh fixed a little bit here uh but still when it's undeniable it is a different energy even though the the offense doesn't move as well when drummond is on the floor and i stick with what i said before i don't mind packaging vooch and zach uh and just rolling with drummond and a backup center this is where we get in trouble if we play drummond so much minutes and he doesn't have a backup but if you, I, I think if you give a backup to Drummond, I'll completely roll with Drummond. I stick with, with that. I have seen Vooch for the past, what, three years now. Um, just don't like his energy. The lack of rebounding. He rebounds the ball because it's by default. He's the biggest guy out there. But with Drummond, he dominates the rebound. And I stick with that. Um, so immediate reaction between the return of these two. I'm glad it did uh, because we are extremely thin with even Torrey Craig being out. And those guys being out means more minutes for Drummond. More minutes for Drummond means his flaws is going to show more. But in this limited minutes, hey, if we can keep them both and the, the, the distribution of minutes is somewhat equal, I don't mind having Vooch on the team because he brings a different element. It's just that whenever he starts being lazy or you know floating around on defense then you, that's the time you got to put Drummond in but for me the biggest takeaway on this game would be Dalen Terry Dalen Terry showed you know he, he I wouldn't say he has shown flashes in the past but this game you almost think was like man that's kind of like Caruso-esque by no means 
am I comparing Dalen Terry to Caruso? But boy, he's like a longer version, a longer, taller version of Caruso. He is a pest. He is intense on defense. He has an ugly shot. However, he did hit three, two three-pointers tonight. If he keeps this on, and I'm not talking about three-pointers. Just don't be horrible on three-point shots. Uh, keep this intensity on defense. Boy, we Caruso might be expendable. I'm telling you guys. And I love Caruso. I love Caruso. I don't want to trade a guy. I think there's a value of keeping Caruso, especially if you see something like this from Dale and Terry. Because Caruso could teach these guys how to hustle. His leadership. Caruso is in a different level. But if... If you stick with Dalen Terry a little bit longer, and if you let him mature, maybe he'll get to that level someday. Maybe. Not now. Maybe not next year. But the potential, I can see the intensity of defense. Because defense is an effort based. You know, the more you put on it, the more you get out of it. He does have the tools. He's getting stronger. He's getting meaner. He got that stare down against uh, Pacers. So the more the more playing time he gets, I, I think the more confidence he'll get. And hopefully he works more on his offense. So he can be a really good 3 and D guy. And, uh, you know, he went from unplayable to now kind of like, hey, you know, we might have something in here. So giving him minutes. Once DeMar walks away next year, hey, I, I don't know. I, mean, I love this team. I love I love the way DeMar teaches the, the kids. Uh, I love how Caruso's leadership. But we went from, hey, there's really not much to work with in this Bulls. And now you're seeing just a little bit of glimpse. Just a little bit of, you know, things here and there that, hey, Kobe already shown. He's he's arrived. Io seen Flash today for Io played a good game. And now we got Dale and Terry as well. Hey, hey, we might have so we might have not to tear it down to the studs. We might have something really good boiling up here. You just become patient and let's see how it plays out. Thank you for watching Bulls Nation. So we're going to play again uh, the Hornets on Monday. I don't want to get too excited about the Hornets, but we are beating teams that we're supposed to beat now. So I'm excited. I want to see that game. Hopefully we get to the ninth seed and, and I'll see you guys on Monday. Subscribe to the channel and uh, let's go Bulls.